Um, okay, so we're working on the snowflake mandala repeating, and Shiley has extended the shape of the snowflake, right, to be one side of the branch. And now we're going to try to make it both sides of the branch first. That's the first step. And then after we have that, then we're going to repeat it this direction, and then we would repeat it this direction, this direction, etc. Um, so the first thing to do is we're out here in this main part. So, um, so the main stage is what I mean in the scene. Now go to your library and take snowflake part and drag it over to here. Okay, just drop, drop it. Now go to modify up at the top where it says file, etc. We want to transform it and do a flip. So um, flip horizontal. I think it's vertical for yours. Good. Now hit Q is a shortcut for that transform tool. Good. And go to the corner and you can hold down shift, but basically you're looking for the place where you want it to kind of fit together. You know, there are some programs that kind of, and I see you're snapping. There are some programs that when you draw one, you draw the other. Essentially, we're building that in the programming of Animate right now, where we're telling one side to come to collect and be the same as the other side. So that's looking pretty good. Nice. Okay. Okay, what do you think of that, Shiley? I think it will work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, um, one of the things that you might be concerned with, and this is where I'm wondering, is like this, do we need to have what we would call a mask where we decide that this, this is the part that we're showing and we don't show this part that I'm gonna draw in this blue, like all of this would not show and that way you wouldn't have any weird overlaps with this stuff and you wouldn't have any weird overlaps here, um, which you, it looks like you're, you don't have right there, right? It looks clean. Is that what you just did? Does that feel clean to you in your collection of that, those two shapes together? Yeah, it, it looks clean. Okay, good. So then we don't have to do this more complicated thing, which would include masking. There is a demo underneath identity deck technical called masking and animate that you could follow, but you've got that now. So now you've got two symbols. They're the same symbol that are next to each other and they're repeating itself. If you needed to go change the, like, so if this is my little snowflake, if I needed to change one, it will change both of them. My pinkies are not acting the same, but <laughs> like if I needed to get rid of these pinkies, they would both go down because, and so you only need to change one and all of them will change. Let's test that theory out so you can all see it. So um, go into the symbol. So double click into the one that you're at right now. So you can just double click right there. Okay, now you see that you're in it, right? Um, so we're actually, let me get my drawing tool. We're in it and it says we're in it. So I want you just to try putting, like let's grab a brush tool I know I said don't use brush, but I want you to grab the brush tool, change white into blue, um, some like crazy bluish color. Nope, Command Z. You just made the whole snowflake white. You see how you changed everything? So you can see how you <laughs> click off with your V tool. This is kind of key to making sure you're doing things right. Otherwise, if you select something, you change the color, it'll change the color of everything, right? So um, right now with that unselected, I want you to click on that black. Okay, and just select one of these blues somewhere just so that we can show, like let's go something a little lighter than that. A lighter blue or green, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now just take your brush, go to, go to brush. Brush also has a mode, just like eraser has a mode. I want you to click on this thing right here. Click that and I want you to go paint behind. So I don't want you to paint on the lines. That's the key to it. So go ahead and just do a little brush over. This is just a test. 
Um, make it really big, make your brackets big. So you have brackets, your size um, next to the O and the P on the keyboard, make it bigger using that bracket. There you go, bigger, 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 like huge. Click, click, click. Is it command brackets or? Nope. Is it just brackets? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just click this over and over and over again and it gets bigger and bigger. Or you can go to properties and change the size. Yeah, let's put this way up. Good, good. Now just scrub over top and you'll see that the it won't. Good, do you see how it repeated itself? That's the key to what I want you to see, that it's repeating and that this tool is also very important to be able to draw not on top of your lines, okay? So that's helpful. If you needed to erase, not your lines, you can go grab your eraser tool and change eraser mode to erase, not lines. So click on that, that's pressure. Click this one and then erase um, fills. So fills are your shape, click that and erase that. And you might need that to be bigger, but yeah, see, bam. That's why it's so important for us to use lines and fills and have them be very separate and not to try to use brushes as our lines. Okay, so that's kind of a demo on, on how, how to kind of work within Animain one repeat, but now you need to repeat this. So you're gonna just go out to your main scene and shift click through both of them. You have two, you're gonna click here, which, so you need your V tool, your move tool, click that, and then hold down shift and click here. And you have boxes around both of them, cool. Now, um, command or control C to copy, and then go and then paste. Command or control paste. Now Q to turn it and turn from here until you get it to fit where you had, cause you had a predetermined snowflake. So you need to kind of get it to kind of all fit where you like it. Oh, that is fitting lovely. Look at that. No masking needed for you. I love that, that, that we don't have to do that. Um, okay. So you know what to do from here. You're just gonna kind of keep on going. And if you wanted to alter this, let's say you wanted to add like little circles here or something, they would automatically go to here and to here because you're altering only that one piece of pie, all of the pies will get all those new cherries on it or pepperonis. Cherries if you're vegan and a sweet tooth. <laughs> Good job, Shiley, any questions?